is Gabriella, uh, Gabriella Luisa. I'm from South Wales and I'm half Italian. I grew up on an average diet of standard, you know, a little bit of meat, a little bit of veggies. So it wasn't something I ever really thought twice about. I would just eat what was put in front of me. A few years ago, uh, my, my dad was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver and um, unfortunately he, he passed away at the end of 2016. It was a really tough thing to go through as a family. My dad was, I was very, very close to my, to my dad, so it was, it was a tough time. Watching their health deteriorate, it's, a, it's an eye-opener. And I guess it was, it was really a wake-up call for me. It was a pinnacle moment to what set me out on my, the journey that you guys have been following me on. I realised that without health, we have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. You can have all the money in the world, but if you're sick or dying, then it's no good. What, what good is it to you? And I started discovering all of these quite shocking truths about the food industry at large, being the, the agricultural industry and how corrupt it is. And um, the meat industry is is the dairy industry. The idea of uh, a vegan was quite a new concept to me, but what I'd understood of it was I had this kind of stereotype in my head of a uh, kind of stereotypical skinny vegan. I started to, to make small changes in my diet and I started to swap out meat initially. Um, it wasn't too hard to give up once I'd understood how contaminated the meat that we have today is. The reality was that I realised that nobody else cares about your health except, except you. You're the only person who can take full responsibility for what you're putting into your body. I stopped shopping at my local supermarket and I started shopping at my greengrocer. The changes that I saw physically were what really, really, really spurred me to keep going. Um, I, I had so much energy. I, like, I was just absolutely buzzing. It felt amazing. I wanted everyone to feel the way I did. If, if my dad's health had been in better condition, if he'd looked after what he'd been putting into his body, um, he would have had a more fighting chance of, of still being alive today. The changes to a plant-based lifestyle that I made led me to getting into the gym. And you are fool's girl. I started lifting weights and it led me to doing a bikini show, um, which I kind of ended, I, I did those shows for confidence purposes. I entered my first show um, and I trained for it for a few months. my first show and I came second and I got through to the British finals. It was a pretty exciting journey, it opened up so many opportunities and I'm really excited to, to be sharing this journey with you guys. So I've learned so much about fitness and nutrition over the last year and I want to share that with you. Yeah, I just want to show a, what's possible with the power of just plants. Um, prove that you can build really strong, healthy, lean muscle and um, a beautiful body shape without the need to consume animal products. The journey that I'm on still, you know, I'm still learning a lot about uh, myself and learning to love myself and I think that's key. I think mindset is really, really the most important part of it all. A healthy mind is a healthy body. Yeah, I'm going to take you along with me uh, on my YouTube channel. I'm going to share some fitness uh, advice, some nutritional advice, and hopefully I can give something of value that you can use to take on your journey with you. Uh, and I'd love to hear from you guys. So if you've got any requests or questions um, that you'd like to ask, then you can message me at any time, feel free to drop me a DM. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel. There's gonna be some really cool stuff coming up. Um, so yeah. And you a fool's girl. Oh my God. Yes I did.